Today, we are going to use the lab disk, the thermocouple temperature sensor, and the candle to explore combustion, a chemical process in which substance reacts with oxygen to produce heat. So what do you think? What is the temperature of a candle flame? Is it the same in all parts of the candle? The candle flame is divided to three different zones. In the blue section, due to richness of oxygen, there is a complete combustion. Next up is the orange section, where combustion is incomplete. Instead, we have high concentration of carbon. The yellow section is where the carbon particle ignite to emit the full spectrum of light, producing most of the light coming from our candle. So, which area do you think will be hotter? Let's set up the lab disk and find out for ourselves. We will take the thermocouple temperature sensor because it can measure up to 1200 degrees Celsius. We will connect it to the lab disk and set up the lab disk. First, let's select the thermocouple sensor, uncheck all other sensors, take 10 samples per second and 1000 samples. Now we are ready to go. Let's begin. We will insert the thermocouple temperature sensor into the blue zone. After the temperature reading stabilized, we will move to the orange zone. And then to the yellow section. Here is the candle flame temperature recording. You can clearly see the three different zones. It's also obvious that each zone has its own temperature. Let's see what is the temperature. We'll start with the blue zone. Here the temperature was 467 degrees centigrade. Do you think that's hot? Let's move to the orange zone. In the orange zone we reach almost 820 degrees centigrade. But the hottest place of the candle flame is the yellow zone with nearly 1000 degrees centigrade. Well, this is hot. We can also annotate the graph adding the pictures of the candle flame. We'll start with the blue zone. And we will continue with the orange and yellow zones. Here we can clearly see that the temperature rises as we go up the flame, with the highest temperature production at the tip of the flame. For centuries, candles were the only source of light during nighttime. I wonder if they knew that it's all because of temperature and carbon production.